I'm Nicole Silber, a registered dietitian and pediatric nutrition specialist. Studies show your baby's first solid foods have an impact on both their eating habits and health later on in life, making the transition from formula and breast milk to solids a really important one. Parents across the country want their kids to grow up eating healthy, but they don't always know when, what, and how to feed their infants for success. BeachNet actually surveyed 200 parents and soon-to-be parents to find out what confused them the most about infant nutrition. Two out of three parents said they wanted official government guidelines for infants under two, and over half said the information available is often confusing and conflicting. Introducing solids doesn't always go as planned, and you know what? That's okay. Sometimes your little one just isn't ready, and you may have to revisit in a few weeks, or they could simply refuse some foods. The key to starting off solid food introduction on the right foot is to make sure your baby is truly ready. At about four months of age, a full term and healthy baby's body is starting to get ready to handle solids. This is when you should start looking for signs of readiness. There are four key areas to look for. One, a diminished tongue thrust reflex. Two, the ability to sit up supported. Three, strong neck control. Four, an interest in food. If you can check all of these areas off, then your baby is likely ready for solids. If you can only check a few off, that's totally okay. Wait a week or two to reevaluate. Every baby is different, and it's more important to watch your baby than follow a calendar. There is no disadvantage to waiting a few weeks if your baby just isn't ready. That's why I always recommend that you consult with your pediatrician to find out if the time is right for your baby. For more information about infant nutrition, be sure to visit BeachNut's website and download the full guide to what baby eats now.